Okay guys, it is Monday morning and I am pretty tired. I should have gone to bed a little bit earlier yesterday, but it's fine. I'm headed into class right now to actually lab to go check in all of our new equipment and instruments. We're getting our locker set up for where we will spend a ton of hours over the next two years um, drilling on typing on teeth, fake teeth, real teeth, who knows. But I'm excited to finally get to wear scrubs. Actually, I'm supposed to have a gray top, but they were back ordered, so I should be picking those up today. But I'm feeling official and feeling ready for the week to get started. Okay, so from what I've heard, we are about to get basically uh, two huge tackle boxes and a locker full of stuff, equipment that we have no idea what to do with. We don't know what thing, half of the things are called. We don't know what most of the things are actually used for. Oh, hope that lighting was all right under the bridge. Anyways, um, yeah, so I think all 110, all 110 of us are going to be very lost for the next hour. Okay, let's move on. We gotta get rolling. Number five and number six, Matrix Band. All right, so everyone's got their forms turned in and everyone has their beginning stuff. Your other type knot, your other patient, leave it in the metal box. You will use this one next semester. You will not use this one this semester. So just leave it in your big locker. All right, guys, I am headed back to campus. I got done with the morning. We were only there for actually an hour and a half, hour 45 getting all of our new equipment and let me tell you guys it was so it was three boxes full of just stuff I've never seen before maybe a few instruments and tools I've seen before but a lot of it I had no idea thank goodness there were uh, a ton of upperclassmen that were there helping us all out or else we would have been so lost so I hope you guys got to see what our uh, sim lab looks like a little bit I'm sure you'll be seeing me spend hours and hours in there and you will know it just as well as I will, but right now I'm actually headed to something called IPEP, and it is a lunch that puts all of the different health professions um, all across OSU campus together in a room, and so I'm gonna be, it's kind of like we try to collab with uh, med students, um, optometry students, and uh, law students, I think, I don't know why they're in there, but um, any health profession, they are going to be there. So that's what I'm going to right now. Hopefully it's not too boring and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. I am sitting in traffic trying to go to the white coat ceremony. This afternoon has been pretty great. Uh, my parents got in, we went out to lunch, we got some bomb sushi, one of my favorite foods in the world, but I'm really excited to um, go to go get my white coat and I feel like my whole class is really excited. Everyone was talking about it today. So I think this should be a really cool event and make me feel like I'm actually a part of this profession. See you guys there. Okay guys, it's a little bit dark. I don't know if you can see me, but just got done with White Coat. It was such a cool ceremony. Um, the dental hygiene um, program also got all of their white coats and it was kind of one of those experiences where while the speakers are talking while our dean was talking you just get goosebumps all over because you are becoming something becoming a part of something that is a lot bigger than you and you can do we have the potential to do so much good if we can if we go to kind of the rural or underserved areas we can really make a huge difference in a lot of people's lives and I was really glad that my parents made it out it was awesome having them there uh, and it was extremely hot almost the whole entire time but a lot of fun so we are going to head back get some ice cream to celebrate and call it a night it is Tuesday morning I am pretty tired I don't know if you can tell it is early well it's it's seven o'clock right now but I got up at six pretty dang early um, the sun the sunrise is beautiful right now I'll probably show you guys 
I am headed into class to do something we call a red roll-up. It's our last day of orientation, and we have this like red pouch that I guess kind of looks like a fruit roll-up, and we put all the instruments, label all of them that we are going to be using this first year. So these are all the tools that I'm going to have to know inside and out and know how to use them like a pro. So I will see you guys there. One of the only perks of waking up so early. Yeah, that's me. to my first day of official dental school. This past week and a few days has just been orientation, but today starts class day one. I'm excited. The nerves aren't really there because I've already met everyone. I've met most of the professors, so that's awesome. But I am, you know, I, I have that feeling where I feel like I'm forgetting something. I had terrible dreams last night. Um, that I forgot something that everyone else had, but I don't think that's gonna be the case. I'm gonna get to class early, and we have um, in the, our clinic, our early clinic class, and anatomy today. So it should be a awesome, awesome time. Okay, day one of dental school is over. I can't believe it. Uh, it was it was a long day to be honest. I mean, I haven't sat in class uh, in lecture for hours on hours since last August. So it's gonna take a little bit of time getting used to that again, um, taking notes, sitting in shame in the same chair literally for hours. But it was it was good. It was great at the same time. Our first class was intro to clinical dentistry. So we had like an hour long lecture and then we spent about two hours in the actual clinic. So there were patients being worked on on the other half and all the, all the D1s we paired up and got our own, uh, our own chair. And all we did was mess around um, with moving the chair. So like up and down, back and forth. Um, and we learned how to sanitize the whole station like we were preparing for a, a real patient to come in and then we got to put everything on like our gown our surgical mask uh, safety glasses and gloves and it felt real because we were in the exact setting and we had all the stuff on that we would wear if we were to be working on someone so that was really cool and then after that we had a two-hour anatomy lecture and man they went pretty fast. Both the teachers were really awesome. They made the lecture entertaining, but they covered a ton of stuff. Uh, we're starting off with embryology and they've already covered mitosis and meiosis in like two slides. And so I'm kind of nervous about whether I need to go back and learn all those phases again. I don't really want to. And I think I'll hold off on that until I actually figure out what's going to be on the test. But we covered a lot of information and I am actually gonna go look over the PowerPoints right now and they actually record our lectures too. So that's really nice. So I can go back and um, hear everything that my teacher actually said. And so I'll probably do that, have the PowerPoint right up on my computer as that's going on and just uh, try to crank it out in probably about an hour. So that's what I'm going to do, but I just wanna check in with you guys, let you know I survived day one of dental school and i'm excited for the next four years it is 7 15 i am headed into class once again um today i only have two classes i have operative twice actually and then um biochem in the middle so it should be a pretty good day i think today is the first time we are going to actually 
learn start learning how to drill um, we watched some videos on how to put together the high speed and low speed hand pieces and all the uh, all the different connector pieces that go with it so pretty excited today's kind of day one in developing the hand skills Guys, how many of you do not Ew. have their regular eye lab. protective eyewear? Day two of class is in the books. Today was actually pretty fun. Well, we had biochem, which definitely lived, lived up to my expectations. Not going to be my favorite class at all. And we have it right after lunch, so it's going to be tough to not fall asleep. But I'm going to try my best. And uh, in the morning, we actually had operative dentistry, and it was sweet. We got to put together the hand pieces that you use to drill, and we got to practice drilling. So this right here, I'll get a close-up of it. But this is called a learner prep, and as you can see, it has the three different layers and um, all these different designs that we have to cut out. And basically, the white represents enamel, the yellow is dentin, and the red is pulp. So your whole objective is to drill through the enamel and get the whole, like the floor of your cavity to be solid yellow. And you do not want any red because in real life, if you are, if you get deep enough to show that red, you are hitting blood vessels, veins, and um, yeah, blood vessels, veins, arteries, and nerves. So your patient probably is gonna start screaming. I wanna avoid that at all costs. Luckily I didn't with this. Um, but it was a, it was pretty hard. Um, my hands were definitely shaky, not as steady as I thought they were going to be. And also, so you have two different types. You have a, a types of hand pieces. You have a high speed and a low speed. And the low speed is meant for kind of polishing everything, like your initial cut. You can make the floor smooth and the walls really smooth. And I don't know, for some reason, as I was going along the edges, the burr, which is your cutting tool, would just it would grab on there and kick to the other side, and so it would nick the other wall and put like a big gouge in it. So I got to talk to my teachers about that because I do not want that happening um, in a practical because that will probably be an automatic fail because it takes a huge chunk out of the, the wall. Um, but I'm gonna go in tomorrow morning and fill out some of these other designs uh, or, or practice drilling on some of these other designs. And probably, yeah, I'll probably spend about a good hour in there just getting used to holding the instrument and getting my posture correct and all that stuff. So I, I'll probably try to film that because I don't, there shouldn't be very many people in the uh, sim lab for that. But uh, it was overall, it was a great day. It was awesome getting in that lab and feeling like Dental school is actually starting. I mean, stuff gets all over my scrubs. It probably doesn't block it. I'm going to tag it. All right, guys, it's Friday, and the week is finally over. Thank goodness. It is... It has been pretty rough getting back into the swing of school and sitting in the lecture for a while since... I haven't done it since last August, so... I've been uh, really bored and not used to sitting in the same place, but today's lecture, lecture especially, we had, I only had one class today, if you guys have watched my uh, class schedule Fridays, I start at 12.30 and go till 4.30, and we had one lecture, and it was an anatomy, and it was brutal. My The information was coming at us so fast, we covered four chapters of uh, histology and, uh, and some bio, and let me tell you, one, it's not my favorite subject, it's okay. And two, that I couldn't even keep up taking notes. So I'm gonna have to figure out a system that works and the, well not <clears throat> the rest of tonight, uh, probably only about two hours. Uh, I'm gonna be just straight studying so I can get a jump, or so I can, I can get on top of things and not feel like I'm behind already on week one. But I know I don't wanna get burnt out so I'm not gonna spend too much time studying. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for the next couple hours. Study, get on top of things, and then try to go have some fun. Alright guys, I am ending this vlog with a Saturday run 
it's beautiful weather out this place is awesome it's a park like two minutes for, uh, not even like 30 seconds from my house for my apartment um it's been a good long week this run is going to help me de-stress get ready for some studying tonight gonna watch the conor mcgregor mayweather fight should be a good one and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching Thank you. Do I really have to go home? I might just take the bus or call someone to come pick me up. Uh, I hate cardio. I hate it. Okay. <sighs>